We are back again. The Falcon Empire Talk Show. Like I always say, I always appreciate you people. Thanks for subscribing and sharing. Please always click the notification button so that you know when we upload. Mm -hmm. Sharing is the only way we can get our voice to the top. Thank you. Here today we get another, another talented actress in the house. You know, full of life. Beautiful and a very happy person. Please, madam, I would like you to introduce yourself <laughs> to my viewers okay. by yourself. Hello, viewers. My name is Nikki Moore of um, Nikki Moore Media Production. Right. So I'm happy to be here. Falcom Entertainment, or should I say Falcom Talk Show? Yeah, anyone we go. Falcom yeah. Talk Show, or Falcom Empire, Niger, no, the Yeah. Wicked. So, girl, Nikki Moore, I'm here. Wicked. Yes. Yes, nice to have you here. Thank you. Thanks the, for having me. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. You live in the UK yeah. and uh, you've done so much, so many movies. Thank you. You know, uh, up to numbers I don't want to mention. And yeah. uh, we're on the DSTV, Rock, and uh, so many other channels. Channels, yeah. And even YouTube. Yeah. You know? So I can see that uh, you're doing well and Thank you're doing you. big. Thank you. So this is what we want, you know, among our people. Thank you. Having a movie done in Nigeria, it sounds, you know, Africanizing and uh, also um, a lot of privilege mm -hmm. than here in the in the UK. You think so? Um, I don't know. That's what people say. Privilege. Well, when you say privilege, what do you yeah, mean by privilege? Exactly. Like when oh, I say you talk about when, the cost effective. Exactly. Oh, when okay. I mean privilege, the cost. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. How to how to get your cast and all um, that. If I, I may come in there, I'm not trying to cut you short. Uh, when we talk about um producing movie here in UK and Nigeria, we all know when it comes to location, UK has got the best fantastic location. It's all down to your budget. Mm -hmm. Let's be real here. Okay. okay? We've got good quality camera, everything. Yeah, Nanja, would they try? We are improving. But don't you think it depends on the movie? No. Glamour, epic. It has or? nothing to do with short epic here in UK. It depends on the location. Okay. There are some in interior. There are some like um, shall I say, villages here in UK? Because everyone yeah. when they say UK, they see like London. No, there are there's outside London. There are thick forests. That's it depends the, on your yeah, storyline yeah. and what you can afford. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So when we come to with Nigeria, Nigeria is already established as African movie making industry and all that. So stuff like that is already established. Getting in there, doing your movie is easier. But when you talk of location, we've got superb location in UK. Like uh, waiting and the talk, we say, mm. you say, when you're shooting movie in Nigeria, mm -hmm. You have some time, you have some free locations, and it still depends on the movie. You Not know? Not anymore. Wait. We don't do no free location again. Let me tell you what happened. A um, few years back, I shot a movie in Enugu, yeah. epic movie. In that, normally before, when we are shooting like this, all these villagers, they could just gather. Everybody was like, oh, I want to be on the camera. Yeah. You understand? Then they, they would just video everybody um what is it called now i forgot what it's called so you like be on the sky what is it called now that be on the drone sky? drone then you would just take everybody <laughs> but now it doesn't happen that way so when i shot the last one i shot epic in enugu every child you have to give them two thousand naira just to stand they're not saying anything yeah you need that crowd yeah you, know, you, you understand the crowd, yeah. so that's crowd what i'm saying scene. so it's not like uh, it's, it's free nothing is free there mm. because people now our people they've got this awareness that movie is money these people are using us, so why will I come and stand? There's a woman, they use a tool of her child to do like a spirit, kind of, they had to paint them white, chalk, and all yeah. that. The lady said, one of my child, 10,000, if you don't pay, leave my children for me. We are the spirit. We don't have a choice. We have to take that child. You have to. They are not saying anything. Just stand. So everything is money. Eh? But to be honest, <laughs> shooting in Nigeria is way, way cheaper. Because yeah. you can't compare mm -hmm. pounds to... Naira. Yeah, that's why the money you pay to the big artist exactly. so is still way cheaper. You talk about, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. you talk about the welfare, 
Uh, you talk about transportation and everything. Yeah, it's still way cheaper, mm -hmm. you know, because of the yeah. exchange rates. Yeah. You but know? the thing is, when people are in UK here, they all grumble about parameter producers go to Nigeria. They shoot a movie in Nigeria. They come to UK to premium. Listen, if you cannot deliver, yes, Nicky Moss said so. If you cannot deliver, I'm afraid they're not going to use you. They're going to use whoever that will deliver. That's it. Because mm -hmm. movie making is not just a pleasure, it's a, business. it's a business. I'm a business woman. I don't put my money in there to lose my money. I put my money to get something. Yeah. So, okay, tell me in UK, you see a lady of 60 years or 45 years playing a role of 16 years. How does that happen? Does no, it work that it, way? It will never. The body is not the same. I'm no, a woman. The face okay? is not the same. So you're not coming to come and try to applaud that. It's not working. You are killing the brand of the industry in UK. Mm -hmm. That's why when some um, some people do move in UK here, it doesn't go anywhere after red carpet, uh, premium, that's it. You wow. understand? It's not about producing mm -hmm. a movie. What are your markets? What are your target audience? Uh, what yeah. are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Are you making it to be one of those core producers in UK? No. No. So those are the things that's the problem we have in UK. We've got fantastic storyline people are producing. For example, there are people in UK, they have the, the, the urge, they have the drive to produce, but there is no support, like a few people have been saying. And I quote, like, you know, Pauline Long, when, he came in and she, when she came in and she was talking about um, sponsoring and all that. You know, as a businessman, before you sponsor someone, show me what you've got on the table. Of course. I'm not putting my money just because of putting my money safe. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting my Drag money because of... Then. Exactly. I'm not putting my money because I want to be a celebrity. No. No. I don't care about that. This thing, we are, there's something talk about demand and supply. The storyline you are doing, is it vibrant in the market? Is it in demand? Mm -hmm. It's not wishy washer. Of course, you, you your, 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 so, your research, yeah, definitely. Those are the things. Yeah. Okay, for example, and I'm sorry to mention one of uh, our great producers here in UK. Um, you might know her, um, um, HRM uh, Florence Okonkwo. Mm -hmm, this lady well. has been driving. She's been producing, not taking into account of um, what's going on. Because yeah. this is a passion. It's a dri uh, passion driven. Absolutely. You get That's what he's doing. But you see some people, yes, it's so good to do skit and all that. What are the messages? Mm. I don't come now, like when you see me now, so hello, Nikki. I come and tell you I'm a producer. I don't do that. Sometimes I say, no, no, I'm just Nikki. That's it. That's it, yeah. You get me? Because when you are in this, and some people like, like my boss, which I said, he goes that people are there because of the glamour. Yes, it's good. There's glamour there. Oh, there's of beauty course, there. It's there's beautiful, open yeah. doors there. But what is behind it? <laughs> you get me? <laughs> you put you put your life in, on screen one, yeah, just so one day. UK, like me, I do premiere, I do I produce a movie in Nigeria, I premiere it here. Yes, quote me anywhere. Nikki models that I produce here too, I premiere. You get me? Yeah. Now most of my my, my, my movies, not like I'm being proud or whatever, but it's by the grace of God is where it is today. That's so true. in order for your, your stuff to be out there, the quality, people need to see quality, the storyline. Mm -hmm. You understand, but those are the things that is clean. It doesn't, our, it doesn't just fly. You no, know, yeah, own. that's what is killing us here in yeah. the UK. We don't have a good story, and because oh, John is my friend, I'm going to give John the role to play. Knowing fully where John cannot deliver, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. When people come to the premiere and they will say, oh, now this one then gets safe, then they all of them go talk say, no, you will not you rubbish. Tomorrow do another premiere, nobody will show. Nobody they enter now. Sure you get. So, mm -hmm. in order for us to make it out there. Maybe we try. Maybe we try go back to the drawing board where we know they make and where we know they work well. More try put things in perspective so that people, when they call your name, you say, "Wow, yes, I know that name." There are some places I'll go. They be like, "Oh, you are Nikki." Mother say, "I say I'm just Nikki." Just Nikki. You understand? I want to learn, but you thinking that because you do one skit and blah blah blah, you need to put in something to get something. Of course. But people are not doing that. So then when they now see people coming from Nigeria to a premier movie here, they become mad. No, don't become mad. If you don't want them to come, do your homework, do everything. Then when they bring theirs, you bring yours, they will see the standard. You yeah, there? but I still believe um, having it done there, Yeah. Um, they have more facility mm -hmm. uh, than in the UK. Um, you know, the cars, like we said, it's much cheaper and no, stuff like from, that. You people are getting it all wrong. Yes, when it comes to money wise, it's cheaper there. When it comes, actors, they are on standby because this is mm. their daily job. Yeah. 
you get yeah but people here in uk we are deceiving ourselves we are not that good that's it <laughs> we are not good enough we're not good enough yeah there are some scenes you will come like maybe the scene is for you to some people say it's make believe no it's what you want the audience to see will see mm -hmm. there is a scene they will be like okay in this scene going to read the script your job is for you to kiss the guy oh my god I know they kiss, so this one whenever I brush. Africa I woman. Bego, this and this. Hey. <laughs> you understand? But the way okay. this new generation of Nollywood in Nigeria do, they will kiss it like never before. Yeah. It has nothing to do. They don't have a business. When you watch no, it. No, uh, hundreds of people are watching you kissing. So where does it go? Nowhere. Um, I make a reference to Shantytown. Yeah. You know, there was a scene whereby uh, um, RMD was, you know, yeah, I know. With, Play it off. So when when, I, <laughs> when when people watch it, if you don't know about the movie industry, you'll be like, oh my God, MC is this. No, it's not. It's a body clone. Of course. But people don't know that. Who here in UK can do that? Mm -hmm. You mean the touching or when yeah. it was playing rough? Everything. Who can do that? Okay. Nobody. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I know people are going to quote me all this sneaky one hour for you, but not the real deal. Yeah, but what bounces me uh, is that Oh, they said the person said uh, one of the, you know, on the scene. Or mm. when he was touching, they said, uh, oh, that was in the real one. It was this, it was that. No, what does it signify? No, that she shouldn't have said that. Because well done. we know that this is how even the Western world, that's how they do it. Of course. No same person will come and allow all that. It's clone, we know that. But why will you come and be saying I'm, I'm be You saying are even... It. Spoiling the, the story uh, exactly. already exactly because what I'm of the, to say. the the hype and everything will not be going okay okay I'm oh, fake now so what's the point come on you, you don't know, do that to come, but no you don't you, talk, you, you, you don't, don't have time you don't uh, let them go like that mm. because you do them yeah now waiting make people one like you now be mm -hmm. that one yes, and i want to wait make people want to say you are doing the right thing mm -hmm. now be that mm -hmm. you know so yeah uh, we thank god so we thank any god. little advice for the one in the uk and uh, nigeria presently because there are lots of force lots of the young ones who are coming up and don't want to do the same and who are looking forward to uh, up to us so yeah well, like, to encourage uh, them What's in a go fit talk for that one be say? You now one thing you go first ask yourself. This thing when are they come? I like them. This thing interests me. Mm. Because when you like something, the driving force will be different. No matter what, whether you they go, you know they move, you know where you they go. Now this yeah. thing I want. You understand? So now I'm be wanting when they go ask. And have the passion. Once you have the passion, every other thing will fall in place and the most important thing be humble and respectful wow, i remember I when like i was in one. nigeria when we were shooting movie with ngozi zon and she was just saying to me oh she said to me my she always said my daughter my daughter you know i like your drive you know you are young and you know the force blah 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 I said oh thank you you know you've been somebody that i've always watched all these years and everything said so let me give you one piece of advice when you come on a set and your role is for you to find the king he said nikki Find that king as if your life depends on it. Yeah. He said, it's not just the king you are fa uh, fanning. People are watching People you. Are watching. You don't know where the next job is coming. Yeah. I've used that mentality like, so whatever I do, I put my you all. Put it all. Like when I'm shooting here in UK, I know it's funny, but I do basically most of the thing myself. You get that's why when Ucho Odok Buta was talking, he said, When you are in Nikki's, <laughs> when you are in Nikki's, he said, <laughs> said Your eye go clear because everybody's like, We are soldier, this has to be done. It's not easy when you are doing everything, mm -hmm, no sponsor, mm -hmm. everything from your pocket. No, it's hard, it's tough, you, you know? know, and you have to pay people, you have to do things. So, guys, if you are coming Thank to the industry, so it's a beautiful industry, you will love it, it will expose you to a greater things as well as. Mm -hmm. God have mercy on us, but you need to have a, a, a focus and a drive. And this car will be your starting point. But I won't say it's your limit because there's many, many open doors out there. and opportunity out there. So, and uh, again, when you are in the industry, try to meet up with the real people. You're not just meeting because you want to meet with real people. People will direct you. People will believe in your dream. 
because you won't have a dream and tell somebody your dream. No. They will have they will help Hatch. you to kill the dream. Yeah, but when you follow the real, you know, the real <laughs> people exactly, he makes it work easier and flows. So yeah. Thank you. So coming Very Hollywood is open to everybody. Wicked. It is open to everyone. And again, it's not just uh, coming to Nollywood means uh, acting and all that. There is a lot of things you can do in Nollywood. You can be a like a talk show host. You can be a podcast. You can you can do a lot of things. Yeah, like they are man, all under that kind of entertainment. Yes, yeah, so there's and there's all room of for that. everyone. Yes. Thank you. Lisa, so what uh, little thing do you have to say about Falcon Empire? Um, before I go down to Falcon Empire, and I just want to. Last two. <laughs> yeah, I just want to give you a big shout out to um queen of the red carpet florence Bl blaster this lady right here is uh hmm, i don't even know how to start with her but i thank god for her life because she's that kind of a person she carries people along, along yeah. she carries she keeps telling you oh, you can do this try this try that and everything so thank you very much wherever you are or if you're watching god bless you and again um my people a big shout out to Falcom Empire Entertainment, Niger, not the carry last. This guy right here is the real deal. Yeah, Nikki Moss says so. Thank you so He's much. He's the real Nikki. deal. Follow them Woo. on all platforms Instagram, yeah, Facebook, Twitter. Deep. Like, share, and please, please, please tell your family, tell your friend to please tell a friend, like, share, to tell a friend, even to tell your enemy to subscribe to their channel. The notification yeah, we have written the app. On. Anyhow, you want to see her, then get her there. Whether not past to present to middle, any I be. Then get her. Never forget, say Niger. We know if you carry last. Thank Love you, you guys. so much. Thank Love you, you guys. Let's Thank hear you. it. Boom.